الحمد للہ و صلاحت وسلام اعلی رسول اللہ و اعلیٰ علی وصاب اجمعین اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کل یا ہل الکتاب تعال و اللہ قلم تن سوا ام بین بین کم اللہ نا ادا اللہ ولا نشر کبھی ہی شعیوں ولا یا تخیز آباد دن آباد دن ارباب اللہ فن تول فقول شدو بینا مسلم رب شہلی صدری و یسلی عمری و حل العقد تمل ثانی یف کہ کولی ریسپیکٹڈ مسٹر عارف جلفار مائی ریسپیکٹ ایلڈرس اینڈ مائی ڈیبر اینڈ سسٹرس آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود دا گریٹنگز یوزڈ بائی جیز ایس پیس بی اپن ہم وچ از مینشن ان دا گاسپل آف لیوک چیپٹر نمبر ٹوینٹی فور ورسٹ In Hebrew, he said, Shalom Alaikum. And in Arabic, we Muslims say, Assalamu Alaikum. May peace be on all of you. The topic of this evening's talk is similarities between Islam and Christianity. Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word silm, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. In short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. And anyone who submits his will to Almighty God, he is called as a Muslim. People have a misconception that Islam is a new religion which came into existence 1400 years ago. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the founder of this religion. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on this earth. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of this religion, but he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. It is mentioned in the Quran, In Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 24. Wa im min ummatin illa khalafiyah nazir. There is not a nation or a tribe to whom we have not sent a warn or a guide. It's mentioned in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 7. Wa li kulli kaum in haad. And to every nation have we sent a guide. By name, there are 25 messengers mentioned in the glorious Quran. For example, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. By name, 25 messengers are mentioned in the Quran. 